I'm Paul Robertson and I'm here to tell you about the Sierra Video SP14. SP14 is a high-end frame rate and standards converter with motion estimation and motion compensation or MEMC for short. It is primarily aimed at the broadcast industry for sectors such as live events, in particular news and sports, OB vans and post-production. One of the key issues faced by broadcasters regarding content is conversion between all the different formats and standards around the world. SP14 is primarily used for conversion between all of these, including PAL, NTSC, SACAM and HD in its various versions, frame rates such as 50Hz and 59.94 up to video format, and film rates such as 24 and 23.98 frames per second, and even slow frame rates such as 25 hertz and 29.97 up to video format. There's two basic entry level ways of performing this conversion, which are A, using the standard scaler, but this can re result in motion judder. Judder is the result of sta frames stopping and starting as the frames get dropped or repeated. This is also referred to as 3-2 pull down. Secondly, you could use a linear frame rate converter. An example of this would be the Blackmagic Terran Xbox or the AJA FS1X. However, linear converters in addition to motion judder also generate blur. Blur is a kind of ghosting or trail that follows the image as it moves across the screen. The SP14, in contrast, uses the broadcast accepted motion estimation and motion compensation form of frame rate conversion. This system of frame rate conversion does not suffer from the same motion judder or blur seen with the basic entry level methods. Motion estimation and motion compensation analyzes every pixel of every object in the frame, uh, in the sequence of frames, including where, how fast, what direction everything moves and including what goes in front or behind the object. From this analysis it is able to build up a new series of synthetic output frames that don't suffer from the motion judder or blur and have a smooth and natural transition between frames. Due to the complexity of the algorithmic implementation in motion estimation, motion compensation frame rate converters, they are significantly more expensive than the basic entry level products. As a guideline, the Alchemist and FRC 8000, for all the features that a broadcaster would require, you would be looking at around about £100,000, that is €120,000 or $150,000. Both the Alchemist and the FRC 8000 give excellent performance, but what sets the SP14 apart is that you get the same superb MEMC performance, but at a fifth of the cost due to its very efficient algorithmic implementation. SP14 is unrivaled from its price performance position in the market. Just imagine how much more competitive an OB van would be, for example, if you're able to install SP14 at a fifth of the cost of an Alchemist or FRC 8000. Looking at the back of SP14, you can see we have a very wide range of both input and output connectors. Looking from the left to the right, we have firstly here the digital input connectors. We have HDMI, DVRD digital, and two 3G HDSDI connectors. In addition to this, however, we also have a range of analog inputs. Here we have connectors suitable for composite video, YC and component video. And here we have an RGBHV input to allow you to input uh, computer graphic signals. Such a wide range of inputs is quite unusual, as most frame rate converters only allow composite or 3G HDSDI inputs. However, SP14 is extremely flexible and allows conversion of computer graphics systems with signals such as DVI, VGA and HDMI as well. SP14 also allows processing of digital embedded audio along with connectors here for up to eight channels of auxiliary AES audio inputs. SP14 automatically retains the audio lip sync of the content. SP14 has three output formats. Firstly, we have 
progressive component video output here. Secondly, 3G HDSDI, and finally, HDMI or DVI on a DVRD connector. The SP14 also features redundant power supplies as standard for connection to dual power grids for critical applications. And now let's have a look at the front of SP14. You can see that there is a large and easy to use menu system. We have buttons under the large LED screen here for direct input selection and also buttons here for menu navigation. But in reality, after initial setup and configuration, SP14 will be installed in a rack. Therefore, to enable remote control in such scenarios, SP14 includes an inbuilt web server to enable remote control from any networked computer. So here we have the Sierra Video SP14 frame rate and standards converter with motion estimation and motion compensation. For more details, please visit the product page on our website at www.cramerelectronics.com or please contact your local Kramer office or distributor. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.